Hey, this is Tatiana from the Help Crunch team. Today I would like to show you how to start with our chatbot editor. So what can our Help Crunch chatbot assist you with? As of now, our chatbot is reactive, which means it can only respond when a visitor starts an interaction first, like leaves you a message or answers to an auto message from you. But once the flow is triggered, the chatbot can automate your support by answering FAQs, pre-qualify leads, assign chats, tag users, collect visitors' data, and in general guide customers in the right direction, with no human touch. Now, let's see our chatbot visual code free editor in action. To enter the chatbot editor, click on the robot icon on the left sidebar. Now you can add a new chatbot flow. What we call bot flow is actually a script for your chatbot that defines what and when the bot should do. Click Add New Flow and you will see a few ready-made templates we've carefully prepared for you. These are the most popular chatbot use cases. But feel free to create your own bot flow from scratch. So click Blank Flow. First, you need to provide the flow title. Then choose the widget for which the bot will run. Then select the trigger. As of now, we have three triggers. Customer starts a new chat, customer replies to chat auto manual message or both. Then add conditions like company, phone, city, browser language and so on. When everything is set up, click add flow. And that's where the real fun begins. To build your first step, you need to click on this little red circle here or on a big plus over there. You can also do this with the right click of your mouse in any empty space of the editor. So, and when you do this, you will see that our bot flows consist of two main sections, messages and actions. Messages are split up into three types. Message is a regular text message that the bot will send to a user. Message plus options is a text message with a few reply options. Data request is a message requesting some user's data. Then actions. Actions are divided into four types. Assign chat, it means that the bot will assign this particular chat to a department or specialist. Tag customer, it means that the bot will tag this customer for better segmentation if you want to follow up later. Untag customer, the bot will remove the tag and change chat status. It means that the bot will change the status of this chat from, let's say, open to closed when the issue is solved. Now we need to decide what our first step should be. Let's take a specific chatbot use case and using it as an example explore how to build a chatbot flow. I would say that one of the most popular use cases for a chatbot is a collection of issue details up front. It's when a bot sends you a message and immediately gives a few answer options. So let's go with message and options. Click add option and provide the message, something like then provide a few reply options. What's really cool is that you can easily drag and drop the options to change their position in the list. When everything is done, click Apply. Depending on the answer that a user decides to choose, the chatbot will guide customers in different directions. So you need to come up with the next step for each option. Let's say a user goes with bug report. Then your next step can be a regular text message. Click Add message and the bot can say something like When it's ready, click Apply. And then the bot can assign the chat to a proper specialist or department. So click Assign chat, click on the card and select a proper department or specialist. When it's done, click Apply. The next step, you can tell the help bot to tag this customer. So click Tag Customer, Add Tags and search for a proper tag. Uh, you can create your own tag or use one of those that we have here. Since it's a bug report, I will go with a bug tag. When it's done, click Apply. If you continue to build the bot flow this way, you can easily create a specific path for each reply option. That's what a ready-to-launch bot flow may look like. You can find it in our templates named Collect Details About Issues Upfront. What's also cool is that you can easily move cards in your bot flow 
the way you like. You can also remove connections between them and establish new ones. It's super easy. So, and once your bot flow is ready, you can launch it immediately or save and edit later. You can find all your bot flows anytime in the chatbot section. What's really amazing is that the flows themselves can be dragged and dropped in the list to change their priority. Then, if one user falls under several scenarios, only the one that is first on the list will work for them. As you see, creating bot flows can be a lot of fun, so go to the HelpRange platform and try it for yourself. Thank you for staying with us and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss any tips or feature updates. Till the next video, bye bye!